Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So last week I posted that the snipping tool for Windows 11 is going to get emoji support and QR detection, which is currently available for insiders uh, who are testing these features in the insider program of Windows 11. Now that video will be in the end screen. But just to let you know that another new feature is coming to snipping tool where you will be able to visual search with Bing. Now this is basically a feature that's been tested in the insider program which isn't rolling out yet to insiders so basically it's still a bit of a hidden feature which was uh, spotted by phantom of earth over on x once again which um the screenshot provided will give us a little bit of insight as more or less what this feature is all about and here we can see that uh, in the latest snipping tool version 11.2404.37.0 in the insider program there's a new visual search with Bing so when you take a screenshot now you'll be able to visually search with Bing and that's available in the three dotted main menu to the top right of the tool and here you can see visual search with Bing and just to put this kind of into context and um, if you're unaware what visual search with Bing is all about if we head over to a web page in Microsoft Edge as an example when you hover over an image, you will see here to the top right, you get visual search. So there we go, visual search with Bing. And the same applies. You click on that and it will open up uh, in the side panel where you can search for extra related content and so on. So basically, um, that's more or less what this feature will be all about um, if and when it does roll out to uh, the stable version. And I don't see why it won't roll out to the stable version. Um, because, as mentioned, Microsoft has been giving the the humble snipping tool a lot of features and functions that were previously not available. And this is just going to be the next one. Visual search with Bing. So if you are using snipping tool um, on a regular basis, that should add a little bit more extra functionality into the legacy app. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.